as we all know, we all collect masses of bits and pieces of paper. And this is some gorgeous wrapping paper. It's really tough. I don't know where I got it from. And then this is some reduced wallpaper. So it was four quid for a roll. It's really fabricy, and even the back is really soft. So it'll go really nicely in the book. And also it's got a really funny linen look at the same time as having a very plastic finish. So again, it questions your senses and your references are really like that. So the idea is I'm gonna combine it with my gold. Now I'll put, a, put it somewhere, there it is on the floor. So what I do is I just cut this to the right width and then I'm just gonna start gluing this down and at the same time really making sure that I keep it straight. I want the end straight. And I've overlapped it a bit there and then I can trim it a little bit. And I'm gonna bring that back over in order that that will give it some strength too. So I'm starting to use bookbinding glue and or a mix with cellulose glue, just because I really want these to be strong and permanent. If I'm gonna put so much effort into the book, I mean, at first I thought it was just gonna be a experiment, but it's sort of got out of hand now, as these things tend to do. I'm just gonna cut some of that off. That was, I think that, that was good, backed with really nice quality tissue paper. And now the fabric that, although it's a really, really frayable fabric, it won't fray because it's got the glue on it. Just make sure everything's nice and glued down, a nice length. And then I want to put a piece of this, which I've actually mommy a bit. It's got a bit of glue in just to soften it up because it was very crispy and it is now much, much more fabric like. It's still got a real sort of plasticky finish, but it's really weird stuff actually. But it's just very strong. So I'm gonna stick that on as my next piece. But I'm just gonna decide because I like that side. In fact, I've done it the wrong way around. I'm going to leave that though. I wanted that the other side. That's a shame. Yeah, do you think I can take that off and change it? That's what's so good about this glue. Is it, it's, it's, it doesn't, it's really good glue, but you can actually, if you make a mistake, you can actually do it again. So, take that off. And I wanted it that way. So start again. So I'm just popping this on and then I'm going to put it on that way. Yeah, that's okay. Perfect. Right now I'm going to actually stretch it across like so. And I can wipe off that glue on that side and just make sure that sticks down. I mean, I think that's lovely. I'm quite happy with that. And trim off any extra bits. I'm not going to trim off this actual to size yet because I'm not quite ready. And I want a really good pair of very sharp scissors when I do it as well. Right. So now I want that on this side. I even quite like that more edge, so I'm going to take that off again. And then that can go down like so. I can glue it back down again. Then I'll glue over there. And then I'll glue this down. So again, I'm going to just use my book binding glue. I'm going to buy a load of this. The best thing to get this on with is one of these. clumsy but it, I it does work in the end. I've got glue on that but I'm not worried about it. No. 
it right down and right to the edges because right. I'm going to put so much more on this I'm not worried about this just making a nice collage of different bits and pieces okay so what else do I want on there I'm going to cut it to the size I, I want it one of my plans was to put a piece of silver on there too I think I the silver I was going to put on there So I've ended up painting it. I've got the wallpaper on that side and I've got acrylic silvers and golds and white on this side and I've done it with my fingers. I wanted it to blend. It's just the whole sort of look of it really. And then I am going to put my piece of silver, which I keep losing. We have so much stuff at our disposal, you know, so much cheap products, things that we can mess with. You know, it goes on and on and on, doesn't it? I suppose when you're younger, perhaps you don't. But as you go, get older, you just get hold of all these bits and pieces, especially if you've been collecting. So I wanted this on, didn't I? I want this on somehow. And I think I'll... Uh, and I love the green on that as well. So I quite like that whole thing there. And I, and I also wanted the silver thing, which I've lost again. Oh, gosh. This is rather lovely. It stops it being flexible, you know. I've tried to thin it out by taking out the back. Look, you can really get off the, the back papers and all you're left is the silver, which is really rather lovely. I might put a few bits of them on there. So again, it's this thing where I've creased them up and then realised that the silver foil was coming away from the paper. So it comes away in these lovely irregular marks, which I think are just beautiful. Quite like that, and then that on top of it. I don't know if it'll show enough. And I also wanted the tip, this, the, what, this. There you go, I found it. I wanted that. So that would be one sheet. It would be the two sides. It seems a shame to be getting rid of so much of the shiny stuff, but equally, I do like it. So I am going to put that down. And I might use a few bits of silver afterwards as well, you know, because I can glue them on with whatever's left, basically. Oh, goodness me. So what I did was I just sprayed the back of this until the back went soggy and I could peel it off. So I'm just peeling the back of this a bit. Even the bits left over. Honestly, we go bonkers with this sort of thing. So funny. Something that on there. Just coming out. And then this on top. So and this is just tissue paper. Oh look, it's gonna crease up really nicely. So I'm just gonna it's so thin you can bundle it up on itself you know you can probably rip it and everything so you're not stuck with the width that I had I can manipulate it a bit as I go down as it goes down and this is just the book burning glue and the cellulose paste mixed together
Now I've got it on there. And not on the actual this stuff because it seems to uh, change it a bit. Right now. Even though that's lovely folded back on itself. Run it back over that way. bonkers but I just love everything about it. I love how it behaves, what it looks like when it's when it's laying down. The strange mark making, I mean that's enough, I don't even need the silver on there. I think that's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to take this bit over on this side as well because I just want it just touching over onto the wallpaper. Right. And do I put this on or not? I do. Hello. If anything, I want a bit more over that silver. Let's see what else I've got. I didn't actually mean that to happen. up and then put it down. Okay. Oh, there you go. There's another one down. I can make this bit more interesting as well. At the moment I really like the other side, so I'll leave that to be. This is another piece I did earlier, just thought I'd show you. Just a piece of tissue paper with bits of napkin type paper that's been painted stuck on top. And what I do is I fold them in half. So I'm just going to get a decent brush. I'm too patient for it to take ages. I'm getting a good brush and I've got a book binding and cellulose paste mixed together here. So it'll go transparent and it'll remain flexible. And I start from the middle. I'll work out. And I'm going to leave this end unglued because I want just fix something in. I need another little bit just at the end. So I'll go right up to the edges. And right up the edges on this side too. And these are really nice, these end bits here. So I'm going to fold them over so that they seal the end as well. 
feels so lovely and soft this paper this tissue paper and then when it's dry i don't know what it is about it whether it's the cellulose or everything it goes so nice and strong right make sure you've got right up to the edges yeah, right up to the edges all the way around right fold it over carefully so that the edges meet you just don't need somebody else here with you when you do this but i think you probably get the middle bit over first What I should have done was fold it in half first and then done it, shouldn't I? So I wonder what I could do to make this work. Um, I think part of the problem is that it happening right in the wrong place that's it that's better I've done it now I've just got to get it right all the way along I don't mind if there's a couple of creases in it I don't want that so okay let's see if I can get the rest of it down going to manage to do this. It's proper, proper. Too soft now. I've got some of it. Now what I'll do is I'll obviously collage this onto another piece now. But I mean, just is stunning, isn't it? Just absolutely love them. To me it just looks so much like, you know, water or mud or many tears and things just don't matter because you can mend them with other collage okay i'm going to put that to one side because i i'll glue it onto some other piece of stuff as part of the collage room, i have been sort of painting tissue papers up with colors that i like um and, and sort of forms and textures that I really like. So that I've got this sort of collection of pieces that I can collage onto others. And that is what's on this piece of paper. So it's tissue papers stuck onto tissue again. Tissue papers that I've painted um, and collaged on and use the colours that came out on these beautiful tissue papers and the way they responded onto more tissue paper. This was a napkin and this is a napkin and this is tissue paper that I painted and this was a napkin. I used the napkins because I had been using the napkins to make this sort of thing and I had the white leftover bits and one of them had dripped into a little spill of spillage of paint and the way it oozed through the papers I thought was just lovely and I realised that that actual stuff has such a value in itself. So look, that's the tissue paper on the other side and I could rub oil into this if I wanted to. In fact, I have rubbed oil into this one and then regretted it because I really want to stick it together as one sheet. And I'm not sure I'll get a glue that'll stick that oil. You know, oil's a pain, isn't it? But it is really drying, so, I mean, it just has such a lovely feel once the oil's on there, it feels like something else again. In any case, it's that. And what I did was a whole load of tissue papers. So I've coloured up these papers. I very quickly ran out of the bits of serviette that I'd got. Napkins, paper napkins. And I'd bought this very good quality kitchen roll type thing. It's for cleaning glass for the studio. And it's really strong. It's really nice stuff. But again, I got it for a, from a car boot. I have no idea what it is. And I got a huge batch of it because it was cheap. And, and this is what I've, you know, thrown paint on and, you know, done bits of work on it to see how I can make it usable and, you know, what attributes I can take from it. 
because some of them are so beautiful. Look at that. So I'm really looking forward to putting these together as another collage for the abstract book. I mean, this is really lovely. This is a piece of cartridge paper that was separated in two. So again, I'm gonna drip paint across the back of this and try and use this within it. I just want it to be strong. I want it to be strong enough to hold. So I'll see how I use this. So having compiled my gold one, I'm just having a look. Gosh, that's lovely. I think I'll keep that in the gold. I'm just having a look at some things that might work together from my little collection. Um, this is the piece of a back of cartridge paper, so it's been separated off, as I showed you before. And I was just trying to contemplate how I'm going to compile this particular sheet that's going the signatures of the book. I mean, they are nice like that, but what I really like is this one. So I really love this one. I love the translucency of it. I've put nut oil on this to make it translucent. Um, and this is tissue paper stuck onto, this is actually napkin paper painted, stuck onto tissue paper. And I mean, there's some just beautiful, beautiful colours in it. And I really like it. But because I put the oil on it, I'm not going to be able to glue it together. I mean, I could get an oil glaze glue, but whether it would remain, you know, flexible, and whether I could make it like a fabric, I mean, it is a bit between the two, but in any case, I like that. So I think I might do these tissue papers, not on paper. I can always do that again another time, but on another piece of tissue paper. And I liked the actual translucent tissue paper, not, you know, not a painted one. So I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, that's a piece of tissue paper. No, it's not. Get your piece of tissue paper. And then just start thinking about the composition for a tissue for this one, knowing that I'm probably going to fold it in half as well in the middle to make one sheet that's only half this width. So when you think that's going to be the other side, but if it's folded in half, these are going to be the outside. So just a question of having a look and a play, see what you've got and see what you think you can make out of it. I mean, that would look good that way, I think. And that would look good like that, perhaps. And then on the clean of it on top of that. In any case, you get the gist. Um, I'll show you some when I finished them because I think I'll have to make a few more pieces. I love that Carillion blue that seeped through the browns there. And I really like the strange patterns that they make. I hope these creases will come out. I should have pulled them out a bit more. I might divide that into four pieces, actually, because I don't like the crease across it. Right, I'm going to do that. Because the rest of it's really organic, and then there's a straight line. So they're just beautiful, aren't they? Everything's coming out quite nicely. And then I would colour, paint some on the background as well. I do have this sort of thing which I was going to use on my other piece, which is absolutely lovely on this. Really sort of faded and ethereal. And of course I can put it on and then paint it again. If I want to. You know, start letting colours sink into it. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? So I could rip that off so I keep that. And that is lovely, but I don't know whether it's quite right for this. And I I probably want some tissue paper on top of that just to make sure it stayed down. Okay, well you get what I mean. I'm thinking. I could even stick that down and this down, put tissue paper on top of it, and then put this on, but then it doesn't make it so translucent. Right, I've, I've, you know what I'm talking about. 